All right, listen up because what I'm about to show you is going to completely change how you think about electric motorcycles. For years, we've been told that if you want serious range on an electric bike, you need to drop $30,000 on a live wire or zero. But that era is over. China is building electric motorcycles that deliver 200, 300 miles of range for a fraction of the cost. And I'm not talking about cheap knockoffs. These are legitimate motorcycles with technology that makes American brands look outdated. The game has changed. While American manufacturers were resting on their laurels, Chinese companies were investing billions in battery technology and electric motor efficiency. The result is a wave of electric motorcycles that deliver more range, more features, and more value than anything coming out of Milwaukee or California. So smash that like button, drop a comment if you think the motorcycle industry needs a wake-up call, and hit subscribe to Charged Wheels because this is where we showcase the machines that are rewriting the game. Let's kick off the countdown with number 10. Number 10. Tromox UKKO S the Tromox UKKOS is a fully electric motorcycle with cafe racer styling, removable battery, and a price tag that's absolutely insulting to traditional manufacturers. This is coming from Hangzhou, China, with serious ambitions. Tromox recently unveiled new models at CES 2025 and AECMA 2025. The UKKOS features a 4 kW nominal motor with 8 kW peak power, producing 180 newton meters of torque. That's 133 pound-feet available instantly from 0 RPM. The 72-volt, 55-amp-hour battery delivers 4 kilowatt hours of energy and is completely removable. Pull it out, carry it upstairs, charge it from a standard wall outlet. The battery weighs about 35 pounds. Tromox claims 130 kilometers or 80 miles of range. In real-world American riding, expect 55 to 65 miles at highway speeds or 65 to 75 miles in mixed riding. Top speed is 98 kilometers per hour, about 60 miles per hour, making it highway capable for short stretches. The design is genuinely impressive. Award-winning cafe racer aesthetics with aluminum frame, spoke wheels, and build quality that rivals bikes costing three times as much. Over 30 sensors monitor everything. Smartphone integration, cloud connectivity. The challenge is US dealer network availability. CES 2025 presence indicates imminent launch, but you can't buy one today. When it arrives, this represents exceptional value for urban riders wanting style and reasonable range. Number 9. NIU RQI Sport Now, we're talking about genuine credibility. NIU Technologies is publicly traded on NASDAQ. They have retail presence in Best Buy stores and dedicated US dealers. This is institutional legitimacy with over 5 million electric vehicles sold globally. The RQI Sport delivers 95 to 105 kilometers, approximately 59 to 65 miles of range from a 5.2 kilowatt hour battery pack. But here's the genius. That's two separate 72 volt, 36 amp hour batteries, both completely removable. Each battery weighs 23 kilograms or 50 pounds. For apartment dwellers without garage access, this changes everything. Park anywhere, carry batteries inside, charge from standard outlets. The 7.5 kilowatt peak motor delivers 10 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque at the wheel. Top speed is 68 miles per hour. Zero to 31 happens in 2.9 seconds. Brembo brakes front and rear. Dual channel ABS with traction control. Full color TFT dashboard, NFC keyless entry. GPS tracking through the NIU app. Four riding modes from Ultra Boost to eSave. Real world range, 50 to 60 miles urban, 35 to 45 miles highway, 40 to 50 miles mixed. The bike weighs 410 pounds with 32.5 inch seat height. Pricing is $7,300 to $9,400. Compare that to Livewire 1 at $16,499 promotional pricing. You're getting removable batteries, similar urban range, and proven reliability for half the cost. NIU has actual dealer presence across America. When something breaks, you can get it fixed. Parts are available. This is not theoretical. For riders wanting proven electric motorcycles from established companies with dealer support, the NIU RQE Sport delivers. Number 8. Coulter ES1 S Pro Coulter emerges from a German-Chinese partnership with manufacturing in Jiangsu province and distribution through Smartwheel USA and dedicated Coulter dealers. 
This is one of the few Chinese brands with genuine dealer presence in America today. The ES1S Pro features a 72-volt, 32-amp-hour Samsung lithium-ion battery. Coulter claims 93 miles range. Real world expect 65 to 75 miles, depending on conditions. The 11-kilowatt motor produces 220 newton-meters of torque. Top speed is 71.5 miles per hour. 0 to 31 happens in 3.8 seconds. Charging takes three and a half hours. Belt drive for quiet operation. 300 millimeter front disc with three piston calipers. Steel twin spar frame. Ground clearance is 12.6 inches, making this suitable for light trail use. Two year warranty on the bike, three years on batteries. That battery warranty exceeds most competitors. Pricing is $4,500 to $5,500. At this price, you could buy one as a second bike without thinking twice. The ES1S Pro represents practical middle ground, not the longest range, not the most powerful, but available today, affordable, and backed by actual dealer support in America. Number 7. Sir Ron Storm B. Sir Ron transformed electric off-road riding with their Light B platform. The Storm B competes in full-size motorcycle territory. What sets Sir Ron apart? Extensive dealer coverage nationwide through Sir and USA community support, aftermarket accessories, and documented reliability. The Storm B features a 104-volt, 55-amp-hour battery. Sir Ron claims 75 miles at 31 miles per hour. In mixed riding, expect 45 to 55 miles. The motor produces 22.5 kilowatt peak power with 5 kilowatts continuous. Torque is 520 newton meters. Top speed is 68 miles per hour. 0 to 50 happens in 3.6 seconds. This targets motocross equivalent performance with full-size geometry and suspension. This is a dirt bike that happens to be street legal, not a street bike that handles dirt. Pricing is $10,000 to $12,000. For street-focused riding, Sir Ron's Ultra BHP 2025 at $6,499 delivers 71 miles range with 21 kilowatt peak power and 195 pound weight. The real advantage, community forums, Facebook groups, YouTube channels dedicated to modifications and maintenance. When something breaks, 20 people have already fixed it and documented the process. Sir Ron motorcycles hold value because demand exceeds supply. Number 6. Segway X260 Segway 9bot is headquartered in Beijing since 9bot acquired Segway in 2015. They participate in the 2025 Dakar Rally and have brand recognition most Chinese manufacturers lack. The X260 features swappable lithium-ion batteries with 74.6 miles claimed range. Real-world off-road expect 45 to 55 miles. Top speed is 46.6 miles per hour. Weight is 121 pounds. Pricing is around $4,500. You're getting Segway's brand recognition, retail presence, and proven customer service infrastructure. Segway announced Apex Concepts at CES 2020 that never reached production. Current Segway motorcycle offerings remain limited to off-road platforms. But for what it is, the X260 is a legitimate trail bike from a company that will still exist in five years. Number 5. Super Soko TC Max Super Soko dominates European sales and supplies Ducati's official e-scooter program. Headquartered in Shanghai with Nanjing Manufacturing, they've sold hundreds of thousands of units with proven reliability. The TC Max targets vintage aesthetics combined with modern electric performance, design cues from classic American cruisers and British bobbers, sculpted fuel tank with two-tone paint, steel tubular frame, diamond-stitched leather seat, there's even a cosmetic exhaust system to blend into traditional motorcycle culture. Under the bodywork sits a Bosch motor producing 8 kilowatts continuous with 11 kilowatt peak. Lightweight of 130 kilograms means this feels quicker than numbers suggest. Removable battery. Range is 100 to 120 kilometers, about 62 to 75 miles real world. Charging takes 3 to 4 hours. Pricing is $4,500 to $5,500. At this price, buy two and still have money left over compared to a new Sportster. Safety includes disc brakes with ABS and LED lighting. Super Soko has sold over 500,000 electric vehicles globally. Challenge, US availability. 
Super Soco lacks established American dealer network, purchases route through Jewel Motorcycles in Canada or limited importers. But the TC Max showcases what Chinese manufacturers achieve focusing on design and build quality, rather than lowest price. Number 4. Tromox M05 Tromox's newest offering unveiled at EI Tema 2025. The M05 offers 50 miles range with lithium iron phosphate battery cells. LFP is heavier but significantly safer with virtually no fire risk and much longer cycle life. The M05 features millimeter wave radar blind spot detection. This is technology you see on $15,000 adventure bikes, not entry level commuters. Pricing is projected under $3,200. Tromox just opened a factory with production capacity exceeding 100,000 units per year. This suggests serious scale commitment. The investment required runs tens of millions of dollars. Companies don't make that investment for short-term plays. The M05 represents ambitious newcomer energy targeting entry-level commuters with advanced safety technology at accessible pricing. Number 3. Super Soko Stash Moving from the TC Max, the Stash represents Super Soko's flagship model with maximum range and performance. Modern design focused on serious capability. The Stash features a 7.2 kilowatt hour battery at 74 volts and 97 amp hours. Non-removable, allowing better integration and larger capacity. Super Soko claims 112 miles at 28 miles per hour constant speed. Real-world American riding, 80 to 100 miles. The motor produces 14.4 kilowatts peak, 19.3 horsepower. Torque is 300 newton meters. Top speed is 75 miles per hour with 78 mile per hour boost, 0 to 31 in 3.7 seconds. Weight is 337 pounds. Seat height 31.9 inches. L3 E A1. European homologation. Components include Bosch ABS, traction control, 6.75 inch TFT display, LED lighting. Build quality reflects experience selling to demanding European markets. Pricing is $5,200 to $5,500. Compared to Livewire S2 Del Mar at $9,999, you're getting 80% of range for half the cost. What makes this significant? Super Soco supplies Ducati's e-scooter program. Ducati chose Super Soco as their electric partner. That doesn't happen unless quality and manufacturing meet Ducati's standards. Number 2. Horwin Senmenti Zero – Additional Model Before we get to number 1, let's talk about another Horwin model showcasing different aspects of Chinese capability. Horwin also offers models beyond the flagship Senmenti Zero. Their CR6 Pro demonstrates that Chinese manufacturers are building complete product lineups not just flagship bikes, multiple models at different price points with shared technology and manufacturing processes. This approach mirrors what successful Japanese manufacturers did in the 1970s and 80s. Start with impressive flagship models to prove capability, then fill out the lineup with accessible models using proven technology. Number 1. Horwin Senmenti Zero We've reached number 1. This is where Chinese electric motorcycle engineering truly shows what's possible when manufacturers stop playing safe and start pushing boundaries. The Horwin Senmenti Zero represents the pinnacle. With 186 miles claimed WLTP combined range, this isn't just competitive, this is class-leading territory forcing established manufacturers to question their development timelines. But the Senmenti Zero isn't just about range. Four cameras. 3 mm wave radars, adaptive cruise control, blind spot detection, front and rear collision warning, lane departure warning, AI-powered rider assistance learning your patterns. This is autonomous driving assistance technology applied to motorcycles before anyone else. The 16.2 to 17 kilowatt hour liquid-cooled battery operates at 400 volts. Most electric motorcycles run 300 to 350 volts. Higher voltage means more efficient power delivery, faster charging, better thermal management. The motor produces 74 kilowatts with torque around 840 to 894 newton meters at the wheel, 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. Top speed 125 miles per hour. These numbers compete with gasoline sport bikes costing twice as much. DC fast charging using CCS1 gets you to 80% in 30 minutes. Vehicle to load capability powers external devices. 10.25 inch TFT display bigger than tablets. 
full RGB ambient lighting, integrated speakers, KYB suspension, Bosch cornering ABS. Corwin has European operations with actual sales in Germany, France, Italy, Austria. Verified customer deliveries. They're opening US Experience Center in Marina del Rey, California. Pre-orders open with $100 deposit. First 500 customers receive three years free DC fast charging and lifetime over-the-air updates. Expected delivery spring 2025. At $14,000 to $16,000, the Senmenti Zero costs less than Livewire One while offering comparable or better range and significantly more advanced technology. This is number one because it showcases exactly what Chinese manufacturers are capable of with serious resources committed to electric motorcycle development. The Senmenti Zero proves China isn't just copying Western designs at lower prices. They're innovating, pushing boundaries, bringing technology to market that established manufacturers said wasn't possible at this price point. Whether Horwin successfully delivers spring 2025 remains to be seen. But what's certain, Chinese manufacturers are building electric motorcycles, forcing the entire industry to raise its game. So there you have it, the top 10 Chinese electric motorcycles showcasing exactly what Chinese manufacturers are bringing to the global market. What we've seen is complete transformation happening in real time. Chinese manufacturers aren't building cheaper alternatives anymore. They're innovating with technology that doesn't exist elsewhere. They're achieving range figures forcing established manufacturers to question engineering priorities. They're bringing premium components and advanced features to impossible price points. The Horwin Senmenti Zero. At number one, 186 miles range, autonomous assistance, 400 volt. Architecture, technology, rivaling luxury electric cars, all for $16,000. That's not just competitive, that's market disrupting. Super Soko at number two shows Chinese manufacturers earning trust of premium European brands like Ducati. When legendary companies choose Chinese partners for electric programs, that tells you everything about manufacturing quality. NIU brings NASDAQ credibility and Best Buy presence. Sir Ron builds cult followings with proven platforms. Coulter establishes real dealer networks. Tromox wins international design awards. For American riders who grew up with Harley Davidson and Honda, this might feel strange. China building motorcycles competing with or exceeding American and European offerings? Five years ago, that seemed impossible. Today, it's reality. The question isn't whether Chinese manufacturers can build world-class electric motorcycles. They clearly can. The question is whether they can establish dealer networks, parts availability, and customer service infrastructure Americans expect. Some are already doing it, others are working on it. But here's what's undeniable. Chinese electric motorcycles showcase innovation, technology, and value the established industry cannot ignore. Whether you personally want to buy one is your decision, but pretending they don't exist or dismissing them as cheap knockoffs is no longer based in reality. The electric motorcycle revolution is happening, and a huge portion is being designed, engineered, and manufactured in China. American and European manufacturers who thought they had time are discovering Chinese competitors already sell bikes with better range, more features, lower prices. That's not a threat, that's reality. For riders wanting to see what's possible when manufacturers commit serious resources, these 10 bikes showcase exactly what the Chinese market delivers. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Are you impressed by Chinese manufacturers? Do you think Western brands are falling behind? Would you consider a Chinese electric motorcycle? Smash that like button if this showed you technology you didn't know existed. Hit subscribe to Charged Wheels because we'll keep showcasing electric vehicles changing the industry, regardless of where they're manufactured. And I'll see you in the next one.